Good morning and welcome to the sports update here on the Max Morning Show. My name is Mutalayaka. It's a Monday and there were lots of action over the weekend in terms of uh, yeah, football, especially with the Wafu B tournament, uh, Kosovo Kumasi. Also in the English Premier League area, but, uh, yeah, which teams have been relegated. Sad one for Leicester City and Leeds, uh, Marco Ka, uh, yes, Southampton. Uh, you know, I say Manchester United have qualified for the UEFA Champions League together with three other teams. Liverpool failing to qualify. But there was drama in Germany. Hey, we can eat na cap no. Let me see. This helicopter mo. Yeah, the court. Yeah, Dortmund. Yeah, the about Munich. Yeah, the court Dortmund. Cause we didn't know who was winning the league. But in the end, it was Bayern Munich that make uh, the league there. It's your best training in and how things unfolded. But let's start off with the Wafu a year B tournament because Ghana won a second game against Ivory Coast. Nigeria also defeated Burkina Faso. Bill Opoku and Yaboa and. The two midfielders showed the defense. Ivory Coast are committing people forward. That is a wonderful defending there from Wasima wants to take it. And it was blocked again. And into the channel! What a goal! Bring a cross from Basima Mohammed and Tamli Masera by Mary Nyame. The girls need to take their time. It's being too physical in each half. They need to calm down and then play their normal matches. As you can see, Ghana, Wasima. And Mafia is into the channel. Another opportunity for Ghana! Asela Hanaisik delivered. A stellar goal. Beautiful display, beautiful build up from Wasima. Free kick in a relatively uh, an important area. And as he takes it, and after he's as a poor execution by him, but at the other end, and after he failed to clear it properly, and the dead a chance here on the line and still and Forrest have broken and what a blast into the roof of the net just look at this thumping finish by Mary 61 62 minutes on the clock and it's still Black prisoners who are leading by two goes to one. Another chance here for Mafia. And Mafia in the middle! Chasing Prisatoli in this tournament. And what a pass. And her weaker foot. And Diara was in no man's land. And she just couldn't do it. And they still play tomorrow. And here is Stella. And still Stella. What a save by Diara! Angie, Stella. And up on Saint Mary is coming from an offside position. The rolling ball. And there goes the end of the final whistle. Okay, so the Nigerians uh, get us underway. They're playing from left to right. And it's the first 45 uh, minutes. That we're going to be ushering you through and in. The captain is behind the ball. Ali Mata. She will leave it. She picks it up. She drills it in. Not too far from the target though. And again. Labi. And again, as the fight for the uh, flank advantage, the Nigerians have it. It's a cross over the first one goal. Straight into the net. Nigeria are on target. Just a solo move by Esther showing that she is indeed the top scorer of this tournament. She does it so easily. Yeah. Ball is picked up by Ohai Gulam. Through the middle. Esther looks good on the ball. Threads it through the middle. Oh, that was the header on. 
I could say. She's not been um, reading the ball very well. She just come out any time and she's trying to cause a mess. She should be very careful not to concede another goal because it wouldn't be um, good for your defenders to be trying as Nigeria pick up the pieces, shot on target, bullet and a rifle of a shot into the top of the net. Esther Ajakaye. Look at the first control, look at the pass to it. She bumps into it, look at the control, runs past them and then the bullet for the first time. Into the 18 yard box it goes. Opportunity for the Nigerians, Miss Heda. Oluchi tries her opportunity but much more energy to face any opponent that comes your way. Nigeria. So I guess Nigeria will have a better view or on paper, clearly on paper, you might see Nigeria being the force, but you can't underrate Benin as well. Well picked up by Afolabi, but then uh, she gives it away nicely done. The Nigerians are looking good at coming forward. Yes, Bello. Bello still with the ball. Sebastian waits for it and gets it. Sebastian over the top. Oh, wonderful skill. Easy does it. Look at the pass. Look at where she was. Look at the first touch. The ball control and chip it over. Um, oh, that is a brilliant. What a goal for Bowser Sebastian. Too. Controlled nicely by Sebastian. Drawing rings around. Bokina. This looks good. Sebastian. Ball comes behind her, but she picks it up nicely. And the Nigerians. Ghana and Nigeria making it out of their group. I know Nadia Oho. It's a good one for the Black Princesses. That is Ghana's on the 20 side. And we are hoping, say, the next stage, you know, would progress. Remember that the tournament is live and exclusive only on Max TV. Let's do something from the Bet Power Premier League match day 32. Yenyamu we will wrap it up today as a chance to come up against Aye Karela. But there were matches that were played in Takwa. Mediema. Winning and getting closer to the title, beating Ayek and Faisal. The likes of Ediana also lost, and Legon City is beating Heart of Folk. Those who are spotted for Joe, and here comes the danger man. For Joe shoots, and it goes straight to Jabal. And Atinga returns with a powerful header. Now here is Samuel Kusi with a long range. What a goal! Kim Faisal. Jump into the lead, come off his line, and couldn't do anything about this. One step, and that's the powerful drive. Kim Faisal, up by 1-0 in Takwa. Free kick taken. Still a tussle in that area. And the Diaba are backing it. They have the equalizer. Good delivery from Fatal. It wasn't dealt to well in the Kim Faisal area. Then Nuruddin rises and takes a powerful header. It hits the upright and goalkeeper have no chances. Free kick for Mediama. Fatal delivers. Nearly the second goal for Mediama. Kim Faisal defending well. Here is Mante. Sends a shot and cleared by Sam Okusi. Long searching ball for Anoba. Addison heads it down. It goes to Teoflos Anoba. Here is Soa with a touch, with a bicycle kick. It's a loose Akwesi Donsu. Now here is for Joy. He shoots. Mediama appeal for a penalty. Mano Mante. Good control from Fojo. He's got Nuruddin Ebla to beat. Fojo goes past Nuruddin. He goes with a cutback. And Mediama has the second goal. Joshua Ajiman puts Madiama ahead. Fodjo will take the credit. Brilliant player, intelligent player by all standards. Madiama in the lead here at the Akun Park in Takwa. Anoba, Dosu to save from Jabal. And this might just be the final kick of the afternoon. A very wet afternoon in Takwa, but Mediama have won maximum points. Tough encounter it promises to be here this afternoon. Once again, you're welcome. This is the Ghana Premier League powered by Betspower, Power and it's a Diana Football Club taking on their opponent, Dreams FC. 
Isaac Minta will be one of the forces there up front. Will be supported solidly by Elvis Opoku. And in defense, it will be good old uh, Alex Boache who stands tall in the middle. Piana Football Club looking to cement the authority with a win in the Premiership and lifting the league title this season. Head on by Ali Huzaf. And it was um, Minta who couldn't control the ball. Ali Huzaf looking for an opportunity to twist and turn. Can the shot be fired from a distance? It goes over the top. Eugene Boatin took his head or his eye off the ball. Adams now. Fans are urging him to come forward and forward he comes. Let's one drive! That was a good effort. What a shot. Adams gets the ball here. He's looking for options. Nobody coming to mind. He creates the space for himself. And what a shot. Smashed it. An opportunity for Adriana as they come forward. Richard Danso finds Adams. He's trying to create space. Kwame Adam Frimpong. Danso! Adam Frimpong. Yeah, he picks the pass here. Look at Danso. He's aiming for the top corner. He's trying to wrap his foot. Yes, Boating. With a free kick. Drills it in. Oh, that's a point on target. And that's the opening goal of the game. And it's the big man himself spearheading the attack. For Dreams FC. Eric Danso with a delivery. Goalkeeper hesitated. But it allowed Ali Uzak to pick that header. He has that composure. He has that finesse to pick that header. Lovely delivery. And look at the header. He rises above everyone and not at home. The king is shell shot. Ali Uzak with a dagger through the heart. And that's the big man, Ali Huzaf. This time, they will not allow him to go past the center circle. But Dreams have had the opportunity. Simba fighting for that. And again, he had to show some resilience. Wow. In Ali Huzaf. Away is Aziz. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Aziz comes up against Anoche Bedou. He drills in the cross to the far side, but it's a bit too strong. To point to the penalty spot. Corner kick is drilled in. That's a header. Oh! Missed by inches. From the corner kick, well whipped in there by Mumuni, and nobody marking the run, nobody seeing Adam Frippon. Together, up. foreign and local based male and female footballers in a ceremonial but competitive football match, plus other activities. There it is, Rostam Senobe. Legon City's playing home to Hartsabok Akumata Whistles, and game underway here at the All Wax Stadium. Michel Otto's delivery and Atta gets it away for a, a corner. Zakari. But it's a poor ball from Otanga. Legon City is not really making a counter. Here is Mariku. Sends a cross and Richard Atta makes light work of it. Linda Mtange to take it. Sends one straight to Saki. Here is Abdul Rahman. Good ball to the right side, and here comes Aqua. Aqua sends a cross in. Koji misses from close range. That was a big chance for Kofi Koji. So the initial attempt was from Amega. He lost it, and he fell gladly to Koji. Free kick had to work. Samalinkum to take it. And Inkum delivers. Linda Mtange is rising and heading it, but it goes out for a goal kick. Poor pass from Asante Eboa. Here is Kofi Koji for Legon City. Shoots on his left, and Kofi Koji finds the opener. Kofi Koji puts Legon City ahead. Powerful drive with his left foot. Good move eh, to begin with. Koji takes one touch, and the second one is a left-footed drive, and certainly Richard Atta could have done better. Good effort from Koji, not, not to take away anything from Koji, but goalkeeper, if he gets a second look for the Phobians. Michel Otto's delivery, and this time is not beaten 
Richard Atta. Sadat. There was no foul on him. So there you have it, hard to folk losing against Elegon City. So it was a bitter one for them. Uh, again, back to back defeats. Kofi Koji could have had a second, but uh, over elaboration, any Kuno I had. Uh, Utimi, uh, I may say, but he scored the only goal against his former side uh, to condemn them to another uh, yeah, defeat. They lost 5 1 to Mediama last week and uh, another defeat about the Bobo Wohono. No. So, how to folk losing uh, by go to know. Let's look at all the results that came through for match day 32 of the Bet Power Premier League. So we started on Friday where Mediema beat Kinfaisa by two goals to one with Dreams FC peeping Adriana uh, by a goal to nil, meaning that Adriana. All hope, no. Let me say, yes, League in the it is uh, heading towards Takwa. Tamale City also uh, beaten Samatex by a goal to nil. Then we had Rikum Chelsea losing two in Swatraman by two goals to one. BBN Gold Stars beating Kotoku Royal 3 1. And a great Olympics. And so, Enyaye won their victory over Carl Lyons with Legan City's uh, beating Hass. You just saw that on your screen. Real Tamale United. Also winning two goals to one against Bechim United. Then we had a Sante Kotokoene and Omobesi Akain. Omone Aye Karela. So I gave me no Aye and then So Asante Kotoko against Karela is today. Uh, yeah, 2 p.m. Now build up a chance. Three. Now game no Eshe So So uh, start times at the patch and 247. So that is what we have. Let's look at the table and how things are shaping up. We're just two games to end the season. One edgy league, you know. Mediema are firmly on top. Uh, with 56 points. Adriana FC are second with 52 points. Bechem United find themselves a third with 51 points. BBN Gold Stars and so at also fourth with 48 points. Asante Kotoko are fifth with 47 points. Rekum Chelsea at also a uh, yes, eight with 46 points. Samatex are seventh with 45. Hard to focus and so at also eight with a uh, 45 point. Dreams FC they are ninth with 44 points. We are top half of the table. Let's look at the second half of the table where Akra Lions are now tenth with 44 points. Legon City is at also 11 with 43 points. Real Tamale United are 12 with 43 as well. In Swatchaman, 13th with a 43 points. Tamale City are 14th with 42 points. Great Olympics after a year win have risen to a year 15th with 42 points. And the last three teams on the Bet Power Premier League table are Karela United. They will be playing as Antikotoko today. They are 40 points. Can fight so our second with 36 points. Kutuku Royals at also 18 with a year 23 points. So I got two matches near the league in our baby. Why energy? Why? And a correlation we'll find out in the next few weeks. Let's go to England for so over the season now. I believe, yeah, it was an interesting uh, yeah, weekend. The likes of Manchester United won their game. Everton needed a win to sustain themselves in the league. Chelsea also drawing against Newcastle. It's Chelsea also ending their season with the draw there. Newcastle have qualified for uh, yeah, the UEFA Champions League. So for the last time, yeah, share uh, yeah, the Premier League table and how things uh, shaped up. Uh, interesting table. So Manchester City led the table with 89 points. Almost energy league and Arsenal followed suit in second with 84 points. Manchester United finished third with 75 points. Newcastle finished fourth in the uh, team Sebebo UEFA Champions League. And Manchester City, Arsenal, Man United and Newcastle will be playing in the Champions League. Liverpool uh, finished fifth, so they will be playing in the Europa League uh, alongside a uh, Brighton and Hoover Abbey. And Aston Villa secured a uh, European football. That is the Conference League. Tottenham was placed at Tibet also 8th. Brentford finished uh, in the top half ninth. at uh, table Neso with 59 points. Fulham finishing above Chelsea. Um, um, uh, you know, they finished 10th with 52 points. Crystal Palace also finished 11 uh, with 45 points. Chelsea, last year they finished 3rd. This time they finished 12th with 44 points. Wolverhampton Wanderers finished 13th uh, with 41 points. West Ham United 14th with 40 points. Bournemouth. Also finishing 15 with 39 points. Nottingham finished 16 with 38 points. Everton escaping relegation for the third straight time, 17 with 36 points. And the teams are aqua relegation. The teams that will not be playing in the Premier League next season are Leicester City, Omo Ghana, Niwo, Hordani, Amati. Leeds United finishing 19th. Southampton finishing 20th in these are three teams. So Southampton were Ghana for me, you know, Black Stars for me, you know, Kamaldin Suleimana and Mohamed Salisu. So Leicester. Leeds, Southampton have all been relegated. And all any day all it's sad news, but yeah, but any day. In Germany, now nah, it was a job that Dortmund just needed to do. Win against Mainz and win the trophy. They capitulated, drawing two-two with Bayern Munich winning and winning the league. 
to Bayern Munich there, taking out their phones and checking the other result that was between Dortmund and the Mainz. And they found out that Dortmund had drawn two to a whole and a jubilation of uh, that year. So, Bundesliga, so I could go and also yeah, table and, and how things shape up. Dortmund had only one tax win your game and win the league. They failed to win. So, yeah, send the table you no know, at your all. This is how things ended in Germany as well. Bayern Munich having 71 points, but on a goal difference, you no. Know, was better than Dortmund. Dortmund also had a 71 point. So meaning that for 11 straight years, Bayern Munich and Aji League, you know, will be in Timinji. 11 straight years, uh, Bayern Munich have won the, the league. Uh, Dortmund already had one tax, win and win the league. They failed to do that. So they finished second with RB Leipzig, finishing third, oh, oh, and Union Berlin also finishing uh, yeah, uh, fourth. Hertha Berlin have been relegated. Schalke and so they, via, via, uh, yes, to got so a uh, 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 playoff and the they the call. So that is how things ended. Oh, no. yeah, Italy because the likes of Bologna were in action against Napoli. Juventus also in action against AC Milan. So Inter Milan uh, also winning their game. Let's do Spain before I check out of the studio because Real Madrid bounced back to victory against Sevilla with also Barcelona finishing off a uh, Mallorca. So Barcelona also there beating Mallorca and just in Spain. Aka last round of matches near the Nigina Abbey. Uh, this weekend we'll finish off most of the leagues in Europe. England, the Abbey, da da da. Leicester City, Leeds United, and of course Southampton have all been relegated. This is where I call it a wrap here on uh, the sports update. My name is Mutala Yakubu. 2 p.m. Uh, GPL Elho Asan Tekotoko against Karela build up starts at two now nah, just a game in Ankasa Asha CL3 on start times at the part channel 2470 and Pofu Ankara and the banner on the guest and this our game no Abel Baby and uh, yeah, Alex and the Mubiri Media Makeup Mutala thank you very much and that's a bit brave for starting our Monday with some sports news um, Brighton it surprised me a lot the surprise package this season. I mean, they play some very good football. So, mm -hmm. I myself, uh, personally, I'm not surprised that they got this far. Mm. The surprise is that Chelsea finished third last season and 12th this season after spending the 600 million pounds. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe they will, they will do well um, when, they, when they go back. Well, let's see. To, yeah. Everyone is hopeful. So next season, mm -hmm. Let's see what happens to Chelsea. They need to get their house together. And yes, idea. Uh, they will still be going we through that rough patch. Because yes. 600 million mm. pounds. That's a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. It is money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it's a lot of money. It is money. <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, too too uh, yeah. mm. uh, so it's it's a lot of money. But uh, right. to Todd Boli and the people, it's just peanuts. Baby, quiet. Mm. It's all good. Thank you, baby, for being oh. quiet on this one. <laughs>